Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are all quiet as we kick off the first day of June here in the Arkansas region. Going to stay quiet throughout the latter half of this morning, but this afternoon we could see a few afternoon clouds start to linger in and can't rule out the possibility of a stray pop up shower or two. But rain chances stay relatively low around 10%. So if you're lucky enough to see a shower, you know, but not going to be really a huge impact from that. But here's a live look at the Doppler radar. Nice clean sweep across our region and not tracking anything close to us. Honestly, the nearest activity is actually just to the northwest into parts of Texas and Oklahoma will remain under a very warm and moist air mass looking long term, but we do have an area of low pressure. It's actually an area of interest right now as it could potentially become a tropical system. It has about a 20% chance of development right now in the Gulf of Mexico, but if it were to form really into anything, it's actually going to move further to the east into parts of central Florida and then possibly out into the Atlantic. This is the start of the hurricane season today being June 1st, so definitely something to be watching as we kick off the early start of this season, but like I said, not expecting a huge impact from that as if it were to develop into anything. Now, current live shot right now looking at Thomas Road out towards I-20. Again, nice look at the sky there. Most of our temperature in the mid to upper 60s. We're at 69 degrees at the Monroe Airport. Dew points are currently in the mid 60s as well. To, uh, to the northwest, we're at 64 Camden, 62 El Dorado and Ruston, 65 right now in Monticello, down to 63 in Alexander. We're also at 64 over in Natchitoches. Now, for your pool forecast, we'll see our daytime highs back to the lower 90s, and we are expecting to have 91 here in Monroe. We'll see a few clouds, but UV and still around 10 so definitely protect yourself from the sun wear some sunscreen hat sunglasses and also stay hydrated because it's definitely going to be warm later on this afternoon now looking at the future tracker like i mentioned earlier we're going to remain under a very warm and also moist air mass and most of our rain chances are not going to be influenced by a front or anything like that it's going to be similar to what they're dealing with out west just out ahead of that dry line our rainfall will be influenced by just the daytime heating of the sunshine that we'll see each day going into this weekend and also through next week and as we progress into overnight hours, rain chances would be near zero because we've lost that daytime heating. Now looking a bit closer, by 10 o'clock we're still mostly clear across our area. Then this afternoon we'll see a few pop-up showers possible. We'll be in the lower 90s. Then tonight we'll see a few clouds start to linger, but we'll start clearing out by midnight. And as we kick off tomorrow morning, we'll kind of be similar to today. We'll see plenty of sunshine to kick off the morning hours. Temperatures in the mid-upper 60s and lower 70s. Then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, we'll be back to the lower 90s. A few clouds will be possible. Could see a few pop-up showers tomorrow but rain chances staying around 10 percent again if you're lucky enough to see a shower you know kudos to you but honestly we're not expecting a whole lot from the rainfall as we go into tomorrow but rain chances will increase as we head into this weekend expecting high of 91 degrees here in monroe rain chances like i said around 10 percent be partly cloudy this afternoon tonight we mostly clear and quiet with a low of about 69 winds will stay calm mainly out of the east and for tomorrow, we'll see high of 92 degrees. We'll be partly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. Again, can't rule out the possibility of a stray shower or two. And then as we head into the weekend, rain chances really increase with the possibility of scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that could continue into Monday and Tuesday of next week with our daytime highs staying mainly in the lower 90s.